Okay, so I'm gonna do the Red Bull challenge events or whatever, and then I'm gonna do the seasonal events. I'm also testing my uh, commentary while streaming for the first time, so hopefully it's working. Okay, and I'm, I'm on my stretch preview stream and it's it's working, so let's do this. And then also there's not going to be any background music because uh, I'm going to export this to my YouTube later on. So yeah, that's not to get any content ID mishaps or what have you. I'm not going to be messing with that. So yeah, Red Bull Challenge and then the seasonal events and then that'll be like a quick... Because I want to like stream it and upload it because I have so much stuff to do today so I'm not going to be able to stream for like a super long time so it's, I, this shouldn't take two hours to do and then I can just uh, export to YouTube so yeah let's do it get the uh, Red Bull cart racer for free I have to worry about the uh, whatchamacallit buying it or whatever, or winning it. But I hadn't used, used my um my commentary thingy on the Elgato because I wasn't sure if it worked or not. Because I tried it once and like there's this weird echo, but I just had my ISP over, or like their tech people to like, they sent out like a technician to like fix some stuff so everything's been like a lot better lately so it's good to see that it's uh, working and stuff but yeah it's some um, red bull thing it like just came up in today's update so i think as long as you get bronze you'll probably get the cart i think you get it for free in the event without having to unlock it this looks like the uh that one show <laughs> that uh, test course or whatever from that, I can't think of what it's called. Yeah, Top top Gear? Yeah, Top Gear. Like the Top Gear test course. I don't think I've played it yet. But yeah, I found the racing cart, or the go-kart stages to be extremely annoying, so I'm kind of unhappy that the first one that you could play through is the Yet another go kart stage. Four laps, so it shouldn't be that bad. But yeah, I was playing, um, I think it was early this morning, and I tried out the, uh, I can't remember which one it was, but it was like the, uh, the stage where you, like, have the cars that can go really, like, ride with the wind or something. That event, I tried it and actually did get first place in the Indianapolis uh, course. So go back through and uh, play some of those, possibly depending on how long the stream is or how long it takes to get clear of these, and then these, and then the next set of stages with the Red Bull car. I'm wondering what happens if I cut through the course, if like it'll slow me down. Because it did that in some of the um, Ferrari challenges. Where it's like, you know, you take a short and it's like penalty. Because you didn't really go off course, you just went through like a part of the course where like your momentum can still carry. And you can just like cut through it and get like a lot faster times. I'm not. I'm not sure it's do like Red Bull card because then the fog good card. First try in the Red Bull card, it's like, good card. It's like okay, this is not too bad. Second place going to the last lap. You know, might be able to do this if we can just slipstream to the leader here on the straightaway. Maybe no. 
Oh, I just realized I probably shouldn't break on that red section right there, but whatever. All right, all right, closing the gap, closing the gap. Less than a second behind. Overtaking, overtaking. Stay on target. <laughs> all right, we should be able to get a maybe inside pass here. Yes, okay. Take the lead, awesome. And we should be able to pull this one out. All right. First place race one, got it. But yeah, they also added the um, yeah the login bonus right there for races, so that's really helpful. Sixty thousand, that's a lot. It's like I could have used it earlier, but whatever. So I've been grinding a bit on the uh, international A, I believe races, because there's like the Dream Card Championship I was doing, which has like Circuit de la Sarth, um, Nurburgring, Nordschleife some other stuff, but that one took forever because those tracks are really long. And then um, I found this other one, but it was like five laps, I think, but three courses, but the five laps are, you know, can take a, take a while, it's like 10 minutes a race, so three races, 30 minutes, a pop for that championship. So, you know, I was trying to, I'm trying to save up for this uh, BMW race car, Le Mans class. That's like 2.1 million credits. Cause I, I do want to say I wasted my credits, but I spent all my credits on... Um, I spent all my credits on the Formula One car and I couldn't even use it, which was really annoying. And I'm not going to sell it. But then I ended up selling a bunch of uh, Imprezas that I'd bought. Super Imprezas. And like, you know, I, I bought them and I sold them because I didn't need them at the time, so I can just go back and buy them later. And the ones I have in my inventory right now are like better than that one anyway, so... At least according to the performance points, because I remember that car being like, the one I'd bought in was... Uh, Super GT version or class, and I remember it being a lot faster than the last version of the game. But I guess I could either be remembering wrong, or I ended up probably upgrading it. I'm guessing, or tuning it a bit in the last version before I went out and raised it. So yeah, because like all the cars I've bought in this game, I've just been just been using the stock versions. I haven't really upgraded on any of them because I haven't really needed to, which is pretty. Nice. Yeah, it's funny. I actually like, I finally make a video with like commentary of Gran Turismo, and like it's the arguably my least favorite series of races. Like I do not like the good cars and I hate NASCAR. Like those are the two things I do not like to do in Gran Turismo. NASCAR just because it's it's difficult like you have to slipstream and then the handling is really difficult it's just yeah it's not an easy what can I say like an easy win but you know <laughs> it's like it seems to be not or more it's not worth the like the, 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 or it's not worth the annoyance that it is when you play through it all right, let's see if I can pass this guy in the last lap. I don't know if I'm going to get him. He's in the second behind. No, I'm not going to get him. Dang it. Cool. I wonder if you... Oh wait, I guess you're not getting stars for these, so I'm not going to unlock anything. But I think I've unlocked all the stuff in the current set of races I'm on. International, um, International A, I think I'm stuck on right now. So I just got to finish, like, the World Championships. Man, with the freaking credit booster, I might just go through and, like, re-race every race and just be like, you know what? 
video series and just like show but I guess I guess I'm not gonna race through in the 15th anniversary car because I did that for every race but like buy the cars in the dealership and be like this is the car I used to finish uh, or get through this this set of races I'm looking at my my volume uh, output and it seems like I set it too high but whatever this is weird that they actually whoa whoa they did that like this is like an actual course course so I'm surprised I actually put this in here with like effing go-karts it's also not an easy course so it's like what the f man a lot of winding turns like this one the like hairpin crazy s curves and then like that jump your cart like bounces which is pretty funny it's very reminiscent of um like a mario kart 64 situation because i know some of the carts at least if you're like a heavy character i think you'd like land and like your character would uh like bounce up and down or something I love some of the crazy jumps. Alright, three laps in this course. Shouldn't be too bad. Also, the like the E of the engines for the freaking go karts annoying. It's just like the whole time. Not a nice noise to hear. I'm not really gaining any ground on the uh, first place cars, so I think I've been like five seconds behind the whole time. Three seconds back, okay. I don't feel like I'm gaining any ground. can't really, I'm trying to like slipstream this guy, but it's, it doesn't feel like, okay. It's like I'm getting a bit of a boost, but it's like, you know, at not a substantial rate to pass him. But I passed him, so it's cool. Alright, so three more cars, one more lap. Crap, dang it. Okay, two more cars, but I hit that car behind me, so it kind of slowed me down. Crap. Yeah, right there, I was trying to, to just carry my momentum and not really brake all the way, and just ride the brake and, like, gas around the corners. See if I could make some room, or catch up a bit, but I did close on the second place car, so at least there's that, so I should be able to pass this guy before the finish line, hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> so come on, get a slipstream going like right behind him. Well, I guess he's right behind another car, too, so I'm less than one second back. I could just get like a anything. See, I don't get get that. Like, why wouldn't the car that's like going, like getting a bit of dirt from going like off the road, like get a bit of like resistance there, to where you can like maybe like pass them? Ah oh, crap! Ah oh, crap! Ah oh, crap! Okay. At least I got second. Yeah, I was gonna try to pass wide there, but uh, I had to slow down because I didn't want to go off road. Or off course. But even if I didn't break and just like went around the corner, I probably would have lost control anyway and gotten past and not went into first, so. 25 points back from the lead. If I. Okay, so I get first place in the next race, I will tie for first and therefore get gold. 
But as long as I get in the top three, I'm going to unlock the next championship, which is like the crazy fast Red Bull car, so that'll be crazy. Because I've already driven it in the um, Dreamwood thingy thingy. That's the last car you get to drive. And it is ridiculous. Though I'm not sure it's the same version. It might be like a previous prototype or a, another version of the car. Dang it. I hit that car. Okay, I've driven this course, so I'm kind of mentally prepared. Though my muscle memory of like what the layout is different, and this car, this go kart's a bit different as far as like speed, et cetera, et cetera. So it's not going to be the same. But I'd say the indoor one is probably the most difficult, like the one with all the like slopes and turns. This one's not that bad. Alright, we're in fifth place, so we just gotta pass two more cars for the top three. Oh crap, it's eight laps, I just looked up. I did not... Oh jeez, whatever. I can, I can do this. I hate, I hate races. Well, I don't hate races, but it can, it can be a bit grinding when you're playing a race, and it's like a car that you don't like to drive, which I hate go-karts, and it's a lot of laps, because it's like, oh geez, don't let me mess up, I don't want to do this again. It's not just a matter of consistency and focus. Okay. So we're five seconds back on the lead. If we just like keep closing that window, or that gap, we can, uh, 5.3 seconds. Wow, that was almost a spin out. Yeah, the go karts, man, they spin out pretty easy. When you're braking, still five seconds back, man. Not making any uh, progress here. Yeah, I was never. Yeah, the reason I'm not fond of go karts is just not good at driving them. But I should still get top three if I'm still fifth after the. <laughs> which would be depressing. But whatever. Pass this guy in green. Or green helmet. Luigi. Alright. Fourth place. One more car. We're in top three. Three laps to go. Should be doable. Still five seconds back, so it looks like we're probably not going to get in the first. Maybe. So you can keep that gap, like, either shrinking or, like, keep it at the same and then, like, get a good, you know, last few laps and... Though there's only two laps left, I'm in top three now, so we're good. That's just a matter of just trying to get in second. Well, first would be like ideal, but <laughs> you know, like I said, I'm not good at go karts. Three seconds back, so you know, we've made up two seconds. Oh, I can see him now. Okay, two seconds away. See, so now I'm gonna be like a bit more aggressive. My cornering. Try to close the gap. One second back. Oh man, two seconds. Oh, almost two seconds. Two seconds off my time in the next lap. We're just one second off. For speed. Yeah, that's like one, my one complaint with GT6 was like the AR cars are just still too perfect. They do mess up like occasionally, but it's not on the level of like a human opponent to where I have up all the time. And it's like, it feels like the human handicap is like against you. It's like you have to be perfect. And the AR cars are just driving on their like perfect little lines. But yeah, top three, second place, so. Not too bad for the cars I do not like to race. And I'm almost at 2 million credits. Yeah. Oh, that's that stings, dude. It's like 10 points back from first place. Oh, well. I can try it again later, so. Not that I'm going to anytime soon, though, because, ugh. Go, Kurtz. 
Ach. Oh, I unlocked something. What did I get? Yes, Shrivel Cart. Yeah, I'll take the default. I'm just looking at the other colors. I usually take the default of whatever they give you. Otherwise, I'd have like a garage full of. Oops, I didn't want to do that. A garage full of uh, same colored cars. Mission. This stage is now cleared. Let's move on to the next stage. Okay, we will move on to the next stage. These cars, beginning with the letter X, are dream cars designed by Red Bull Racing and Gran Turismo. From the entry class to a super extreme class, there are in total three different types of cars. Experience the difference in performance by driving yourself. Enjoy yourself. Oh man. All right, third or better. Let's do it. 88,000 credits. Nice. I can drive the Red Bull car, which is super fast. Though I think X2014 Junior might be not as crazy as the other X Bull cars, or Red Bull cars, we'll see. Okay, good, we're all in the same boat. Yeah, this is a nice little, um, well, I guess depending on, like, the difficulty and, like, how I do, like, a nice little spot to grind credits. 88,000 per win. Well, it sounds fast. And it's Silverstone, so this will be a good... Ah! Okay, of course, I'd test it out in as every other car speeds ahead. Yeah. This is weird. It's like a school of fish. <laughs> it's like, if I could just, ah, I have to draft on something. There we go. All right, three seconds back on the lead. Four left to go. That's very doable. Especially when there's no real f front runner, since we're all in the same class, in the same exact vehicle, so it's kind of like a one-make race anyway. Just stay behind someone so you don't get too far ahead and keep drafting. The car in front of you. Don't bump them. <laughs> Alright, seven place, two more laps. Then reach your top three, so let's do it. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have breaked there. Just gotta pass two more cars to get in first. Let's see if we can do it. Oh man, less than a second. That's gonna suck if I lose. All 
Alright, so first place, just gotta keep up the lead, not choke, not spin out, not get past. Pretend there's nothing behind me. Even though there's three cars right there. A second ahead. See, what I just did in that corner was even though like the line said to break, I just let off the gas, which is one of the um. Like when you do the license tests, I like the high speed corners, which is one of the things I haven't, I like can't do very good. I like still need to practice. It's just like you know get to get through those without losing as much speed as possible. Sometimes you can just let off the gas and stay on the like when you're at the apex, which is like the I think it's like the edge of the turn or breaking point or something, where you can get like the best angle on your. I like your top speed to like not lose as much. Like at the apex, let, let back on the gas, or you let off the gas, and then if your angle and time is right, you should be able to keep your speed going and stuff. Okay, twin ring, twin, twin ring motegi. So. This is a pretty long course, so I'll have a lot of opportunities to pass different cars if I get behind. I'm gonna try to get ahead in this first turn. Yes! Okay. <laughs> and this orange car totally just like break. Yeah, whatever. I'll pass him. It's like, dude, he messed up my. Okay, there we go. Okay. This is doable. So this red car in front of me, I'll just keep drafting behind him until I catch up, and then try to get a pass on the inside or outside. And I've like played this course so many times that I know that's going to happen. And then I'll eventually get up to the first place car and pass him too. Cause there's a lot of like straightaways and you know turns. Opportunity to pass like that. So now it's just a matter of getting past this first place car. Okay, that wasn't like the smoothest, <laughs> smoothest turn right there. I went through the grass, but of course, whatever. Okay, yeah, then like right there, I did the same thing where like you, you can let off the gas and now just break, keep your momentum. And let's go after first place here. Be on this thing right here, try to pass on the up, uh, couldn't get him. The, the, the corners are tricky when you're trying to pass because it's like if you go for the outside you could end up off course but then going on the inside you might hit them or collide with them so it's like ugh and then depending on the vehicle like when you do that it's kind of going to hurt you okay outside outside yes yes got him okay now let's just keep the lead And we got this. As we can see, you know, go karts may not be my thing, but high performance, fast paced car, very much so.
<laughs> yeah, like for a stripped down Red Bull car, this is actually pretty decent. So I'm going to enjoy unlocking this. If it's the one I unlock after you get um, third or higher, which would be cool. I did want the way more awesome one, but whatever. I've I've driven it and it's crazy. I'll show it after uh, this championship because it, it's like compared to this car, it's, no, it's like this car is nothing compared to that one. Like it's all over the place as far as speed and cornering, but ugh. This one's like way more controllable than that one. That one's just. Yeah, over 9,000. <laughs> but yeah, then like I'm also getting a decent amount of credits too, so I'm gonna definitely be doing this over and over if I ever need to save up for a car or something. At least until I get to the S-Class stuff, because I haven't got to S-Class, so I'm not sure what's all in S-Class and the uh, like payouts for those races. second lead we can just relax get to the finish line on to the next race maybe in this championship hopefully there's three or four so let's see but yeah five and a half minutes for 100,000 credits not bad yes two million nice I'm really glad they added that login bonus man like it's too bad they didn't have it at launch but whatever Oh, there's five races in total. Okay, so what's the next course? Grand Valley Speedway, oh man. This is a pretty long course, but with this car, it's going to be a lot more doable. Or the times won't be that bad for the trap, or the lap, lap uh, times. Yeah, this, on this turn you're going to like want an inside pass because everybody's going to be on the outside, probably. Or not. <laughs> that was a not successful. Alright, so out of the first turn, we're in sixth, so just got to build up to the... For, ah, first place. Like it's crazy when that like the dirt comes off the track and like it, it gets in the way of the uh the little line of like what to do because so I'm like oh no I can't see I hope it doesn't say braking because I I'm not slowing down oh wait a minute is this this is an alternate uh track layout because usually this is like a way longer course with the bridge and stuff so it's not even the full Grand Valley ah oh, crap I gotta catch up. All right, three seconds back. Should be doable. I mean, it's just basically this part, this turn, a couple of... You don't even go through the tunnels, do you? Like, the one tunnel, maybe? Because the bridge isn't there, so yeah. That's weird. Wow, they... Wow, this is a really alternate course. Because usually there's, like, that, um... U-turn. After that first left at the start where all the cars are like clumped together. I don't think I've raced this layout yet. I 
All right, three more cars, two laps. Let's do it. Or I guess yeah, three and four. Should be doable. I didn't pay attention to the time to see like how far behind I was if I was gaining or losing ground. But that was a nice nice turn there, so yeah. Into second. One more car to pass. Less than a second behind. Let's do it. Oh crap. A bit too uh aggressive on that. Almost spun out. Or felt the car like yeah losing control. I had to slow down. Pass on the inside. Nice. Alright, first place going into the final lap. We should be able to just sit on the lead. Hopefully. Yeah, that car should be able to pass me outside of a slipstream, so. Alright, let's do it. And then I should be able to pass him in this turn because he'll slow down before I will. Because I'm crazy like that. And like my, my technique is just, you know, from that last lap, I pass those two cars. Better than the AI, haha. -ha. Alright, home stretch. Looks like we're going to take it. All right. So that's two more races after this one. So this is number three. So whatever four and five are. credits. It's kind of funny because after this, and I have all these credits, I'm gonna buy this BMW I'm saving up for. Or is it a Mercedes? I think it's a Mercedes. It's like the Saber something something. It's a Le Mans class, which I need for the uh, World Championship. I haven't been able to finish, or to win. Well, I guess I haven't finished it either. I did like the first two races and I was like, eh, not ready yet. But after I buy that car, mm hmm The, the, the last update, it did say it did something with, like, the, um, the, like, vehicle restrictions, so I'm not sure if it made them lower or what. But I guess if it, yeah, if it, yeah, I'm not sure what it did, actually. Okay, this is, a uh, the Rome circuit's kind of, kind of annoying for me, because it's not easy to catch up if you get behind, so you do not want to get behind early, or it's not going to end well for you. Yeah, there's just too many straightaways to just catch up if you get too far behind. And even though it's four laps, it's like, you know, when you're outside these turn sections with, like, the passing opportunities, it's just not there. Unless your car is faster, which is not the case here because they're all the same car, so... Well, I have the default settings on, so I didn't, like... Ah, crap. Mess with the, uh... gear ratios or anything. the yellow car. Okay, two more cars, two more laps. Been in this situation a lot. Very doable. Ah, too narrow. Alright, 
Ah! Okay. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Half the red car. Or not. Okay, there we go. Okay. Two laps to pass the first place car. If I can catch up, that'd be great. Like I said, man. Okay, less than two seconds back. Should be doable. Alright, we're good. Excellent. Okay, just got a couple more straightaways, and we should, no mess ups pending, take this one. One more, and then we can do the um, seasonal events that are currently available. So even if I do terrible, I still got the championship locked as far as first place goes, so... Yay! I think you unlock this card when you get in the top three in this event, so double yeah. And hello everybody watching, because it looks like I have 10 viewers right now, so I think that's like the most I've ever gotten. <laughs> Do not get a lot of viewers on my streams usually, but whatever, man. That's cool. Oh, man. Yeah, I tried to go between those two cars right there, but didn't happen, so... Okay, so two, there's actually three laps this time and not four, but um, I'm in pretty good position, so nothing to really worry about yet. <laughs> Two seconds back. So we should be good. Let me just get past this yellow car. There we go. OK, 
Okay, now she's gotta catch second and first. Three seconds back. Mm. <laughs> yes, good thing the grass is there. That's like a narrow course like on the Matterhorn. And it's just like wall or like very narrow courses with just walls and nothing there. When you go off course you just hit it. Very different situation. Uh, Red Bull Challenge is a new update that came out today for the game that's free and you start off with go-karts and if you w if you get in the top three in that challenge or that there's like a championship with a couple of tracks with the go-karts for the it's like a Red Bull go-kart and then if you get in the top three with that one it unlocks this one which is the uh, X whatever whatever junior class of the Red Bull car and I think if you get the top three in this one championship event you unlock this car so that's what we're about to find out and there's also two other events but they don't unlock until the gen January 1st of like 2014 it said when I went to try to go to them so I have to wait on those yeah new game mode wasn't well, really a game mode it's more like an event like the um like the Dreamwood open thing. It's on the... I'll, sh I'll show it after I finish this one, because I'm about to finish here. Yeah, this X2014 Junior. This should be the one I unlock for getting first in this. Also, I added the, the um, login bonus on credits, so you get like even more credits and this event gets like 90,000 or whatever, or 80,000, so yeah, for every first place finish. But with the bonus stacked on top, you get even more, so yeah. So yeah, 275,000, nice. Pretty good uh, credit, credit farm opportunity. All right, and you do unlock it. All right, so the Red Bull X Challenge. Um, this stage is now cleared. Yeah, and also has this guy from the uh, GT5. He was in the last game. It's like the event with him and like the Red Bull car, but whatever. But uh, yeah, this stage is not clear. Okay, so Red Bull X Challenge, it's on the menu, like right here, they added it. And it'll be like flashing with like the red new button thing on it, and you go to it. And then you can only go to this one first, the Kart Masters. And it's the Red Bull Go-Karts, and you have this championship of four races. And if you get in the top three, you unlock the Red Bull Go-Kart, and then it unlocks this uh, X2014 Junior Championship, which I just did, so... It'd just be that one, and then this one says coming soon, which is the standard championship. 
and it doesn't unlock until January 1st. And then also the Sebastian Vettel, which was the dude talking challenge, doesn't open until January 1st, 2014. And that's what it adds. I like to use a square and X for breaking gas, but that's just me. So yeah, I'm going to do the seasonal events now. I haven't cleared these yet. Well, not all of these. I've cleared the BMW, but I'm going to do the rest of them now. Just to get them out of the way. But I guess, like, to, to the game's credit, I haven't tried the triggers. I've, I've just always played Grand Mode with, like, Square and X, so... Even in the, like the last version of the game, I set it to Square Next. So. And I was never a real big fan of the uh, PS3 triggers, so that's another reason. But after I'm done with these um, seasonal events, I think I might go ahead and like buy this car I've been saving up for and try it out on the uh, Gone with the Wind. I don't think that's that's what it's called, but it's like. The, it's a race series where you try to get like really with a lot of cars with a really high um, top speed. Oh, crap. Dang it. Oh, well, I haven't done this before with uh, people that have already finished it, so I haven't seen these little lines. Okay, note to self, don't, don't do... Oh, man, okay. Next lap, I'm just going to try to stay on course because... Usually, if you can just stay on course, you're good. And it's just a Honda Fit, so it shouldn't be that crazy. As far as like getting a time. 39 seconds, yeah, it's very doable. This is really interesting. I yeah, I hadn't seen this before because I hadn't done one that had other people clear it yet, so... It was like, nice how they did this little race the lines. Oh, Zach beat me. Oh, I got gold though. Yay! Uh, lightly accelerate, I just like... I don't know, for me, I don't really have a light acceleration. I usually like just push the button really down, down really hard. But I do like not pull, not pull, push it down as hard if I want to um, lightly accelerate. Oh, I got a pink color for winning, yeah. Uh, it's like a Mercedes Sabre. I'll show it real quick. I might have the credits to buy it, actually. Where's that? Dealerships. Europe. Oh, there it is. Mercedes-Benz. Yeah, it's this one right here. 2.1 million. Oh, I have enough. Nice. But yeah, I ended up spending up like 2 million credits on the F1 car, but I couldn't use it on any events, so I just wasted 2 million credits that day, and I was like, no, so. But yeah. I'll go back to the uh, seasonal events, and then I'll check this one out with the um, Gone with the Wind, or whatever it's called. The I'll show it. This one I'm... This is where I'm currently stuck at right now. Um, yeah, like the win. That's what I'm about to do after this. And then I bought this car because I think I can win the World Championships with it, but we'll see. I'll do that tomorrow because I, I need to read my comic books today. <laughs> and I need to read the newest issue of Saga. It's bugging me. I have to find out what happens. Do you change car? Oh, good. You can use any of the, um, 50th and... Oh, wait. No, it's not any of them. Darn. 
Yeah. Ford Focus. Well, it has the focus in the screen, so I guess I'll take that one. It might give me a good look. Yeah, Kurt, it beats me on a lot of events, so I'm hoping it gives. Yeah, I'm as fast as it, as it is against me. Oh, the Corvette, yeah. Yeah, muscle cars, though, just the handling can be a bit iffy, so. This is a hatchback, so it should be fine as far as, like, senior gravity and all that stuff. Oh, wow, it's like a dusk race. Oh crap, oh crap, okay. Oh wait, the time hasn't even started, I'm stupid. <laughs> Don't go off course. Time hasn't started. Okay, a minute and five seconds. Let's see if we can do this. 60 seconds, on the clock. Zach is still ahead of me, dang it. That guy. See, now I'm wondering what car he used. If you can, like, look that up if someone, like, used a certain car for this event. Yeah, I'm guessing they use different cars, because... Crap, 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 crap. Ford Focus is not, like, the best as far as, like, the list of cars on that list, so... If I can get it under a minute, then I don't really care, so... I'm trying to get the credits. Okay, I'm gonna get it. On oh, the next one. Uh, yeah, e-brake, use that to drift. Though I don't use it when I'm in a race, so... Outside of the races, unless it's a drift event, I don't usually use it. Paint colors, what the F? See, it's weird, because I did the um, the time trial for the M4, the BMW, and if you get the bronzer higher than that, you get the car, but these are just like pink colors, so it's like kind of like a total not awesome prize. Alright, Vision Gran Turismo. Let's do it. Matterhorn, I really like this, this uh, course, because the roads are super narrow. And it's in the mountains. There's a lot of up and down slopes. Minute 20. Huh. Whoa. Spaceship car. Like, no edges. Oh, the time started. I was like, where's the, um, thingy thingy? Oh, jeez. <laughs> so much for that. I probably could just, like, push start and restart, but whatever. I'll just go ahead and do a full lap. Yeah, too bad it's only a concept car, so if it ever does come out, it's super expensive. Wait, how's the next lap invalidated? That shouldn't be the case, it should be just this lap. What? Hold up, dude. F that. You can't like invalidate two laps in a row when the second lap didn't even start. 
Alright, this time I'm just going to try to stay on the course. So I'm not going to go too crazy here. I mean, I might not get the gold, but as long as I clear, that's all I really care about. Yeah, this narrow course is like really easy to just like go off course and hit a wall and then you're effed or just go into the grass because it's so narrow especially when there's other cars on this course it's, it gets crazy but i do like to race it it's just a lot like really chaotic oh I would have had at least bronze. Yeah, one, two, three. I would have had, um, whatchamacallit? Bronze or silver, yeah, bron silver or bronze, maybe gold, but. Mm. Yeah, 113, 086, that's silver. Silver, whatchamacallit, level. And I'm just going to try to get the layout of the course in my muscle memory so it's not as... Rampant off-coursing, even though I haven't gone off-course yet this lap, which is annoying since it won't count. Yeah, it should only penalize you for that lap you're on, not the next lap, because that's just it's like over overkill. Oh man, it was gold. That was a freaking gold metal tier. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. First tap. Everybody's, well, except Tropical. <laughs> Ahead of me. I really like this, like, whole, like, the lines on the, you're racing the lines against your friends. As opposed to, like, a ghost car. So we can have, like, more stuff on the track. Crap. Whereas, like, ghost cars, it's only, like, one, usually. Don't spin out. Derp, derp, derp. That's all my fault. I should have slowed down. Don't hit the bear derp. <laughs> uh, and this is why I just save the seasonal events for last. Just yeah, not as much of not as fun. Just keep going in over and over and take it the time. Okay, okay, this time. I'm just going to break there. Break early. And I can get into this corner. There we go. I'm wondering like what black magic everybody else is using to like be so far ahead of me. <laughs> it's like what's up with that? Mm. 
Well, super tropical, but you know. <laughs> That was, that was terrible. I should have gassed more there. This time I'm not going to hit the wall. I'm going to break the whole way through. Okay, we got gold. Yeah. All right. Okay. Paint colors. Okay. I'll play like I'll tr I'll race the next lot or the next race in the um ride the wind and then see if I can win it. And I think that's that's it. I just wanted like a short stream on the um new stuff they added. See how much the McLaren cost. It's up there. It's at least a million. Yeah, I'm gonna have to save up for that one. Or I think it's one of these two. Really good. Or I guess it'd be this one. Actually, no, no, no. F1. Well, they're, they're both pretty, pretty good. But I'll. I might get those next. Or not. We'll see. At least I'm at like half a million almost already, so. so let's see what this uh Mercedes can do. See I got first on this Indianapolis course, but I think that was a fluke. So we'll see. Even though I'm using a different car, we'll see, you know. Oh wait, that's not the one I want. That was close. I almost freaking jumped in the car jumped in the race with the wrong vehicle. Oh crap, there's... it better not be raining. It better not be raining, because it looks like the street's kind of wet, so... Which is like a whole other event of races I, I need to do. It's like the, um, the rain ones. Ugh. Don't get me started. The first one was hard enough. Yeah, but it's raining. What's it 0% on the surface water, so... Or is it 0 degrees? Okay, 0%, okay. We're on a bridge. I think that was just a. I just passed a B Zonda and the uh, Bugatti Veyron, I think. Those are pretty fast cars. Not as fast as this one, though. Oh, crap. <laughs> I did not know there was going to be a giant wall there with a 90 degree angle sticking out, just wait, ready for me to hit it. So. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. This is a one lap race too, so it's like, yeah, if you make a mistake, it's over. Okay, we're at eighth right now, so seven more cars, but there's way more than seven in front of us, so whatever. Oh, geez. Okay, that was close. Had to let off the gas there. not hit that uh whatever that was in front of me i can pass these next three were good good thing this is a one lap race because yeah this is pretty crazy 236 wow definitely worth the money 237 237 come on draft draft Yeah, and I'm gonna have to like break soon, so it's like, or not? Oh crap! <laughs> that works too. <laughs> and we're in a tunnel, and we're still going really, really fast. And now I'm getting drafted. Oh jeez. See, yeah, this car is.
This is really long straightaway. <laughs> really long straightaway. I hope there's no other, I hope there's no other wall sticking out that I have to avoid because that would be. I think there is. Is there? Nope. Okay. Well, not yet anyway. But yeah, I can't get any. Break. What the? That's not cool. <laughs> Whatever, man. I I can't believe that just happened. That was pretty cheap. It's like I'm slowing down, but the car behind me, not so much. That jerk. Whatever, hopefully I can catch up. It's really weird. It's like, yeah, we're driving information through the tunnel, and then once I get to that turn, then I'm going to bump that guy and spin him out. Ah, ha ha ha. Jerk. Jerk AI. Oh, come on, tell me I can catch him. Come on, slipstream. Come on. I can't be too far back. Nothing. Alright, whatever. Oh, there we go. Got someone. Slowly but surely catch up, hopefully. Looks that way. Yep. But like get there before the finish line. Alrighty. So the finish line should be somewhere around here. If I just keep going straight. Though I might get slipstreamed and pass, so we'll see. What's up with that? Cars behind me are just as fast as my car, so it's like, yeah. Oh, the bridge, that's where we started. So I should gotta not let anybody pass me. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and re save that replay because, yeah. Why not? Okay, I might do the third one just like finish this event and then that'll be the, it for the stream, but let me see what course it is. It looked like it was just a, another straightaway si situation. Yeah. Should I go ahead and do this one? And that'll be it for the stream. It's just a long oval track. Is it one lap two? Route oh, X. Hmm. Yeah, one lap. Not bad. Now I feel dumb because I was doing other other courses and championships to like grind up for credits when I could have just been playing these for like over 50k a pop, but whatever. And they're like easy, you know, one lap races, so whatever. I'm just like slaloming, slaloming the uh, opposition right now. <laughs> now I'm not making any real progress. That's a pretty wild paint job on that Toyota. Well, the Veyron is like coming up with F. That did not happen last time. It's 
Oh, it's a Ferrari. It's like the FXX. I was thinking about buying that one, but I was like, eh, that's all right. But it looks like it has a really good top speed, so maybe I should have. Huh. But then again, I didn't buy this car for this event, so. Jeez, this is a long straight away. Oh, well, you don't have to slow down on the turn either. Oh, I'm so dumb. I should have switched the gear ratios. I'm so stupid. Because if I do that, I can get a higher top speed, but I didn't think about it until just now. With my car, like, peaking at 237, so... I'll have to do that if I do not get first. And just max it out. Because you don't even have to brake, apparently, so... Yeah. You can probably get really fast here. Uh, I think this is the same car I'm using. So it means I'm probably not going to get in a higher position, but whatever. Oh, no, it's not. This is the BMW, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, that weird looking car. Uh, am I going to top out at 6th? Will I top out at 6th? Now there's a car in front of me. I just catch that one. Okay, in the top five, that's not bad. I'm sure, when I change the gear ratios, it'll be a lot better. So if I could, you know, miraculously get first, I wouldn't need to switch gear ratios, so... Huh? like I'm gaining on this car in front of me, so I should pass it eventually. And there's one more and I'm in the top three, so... So it looks like we're heading towards the finish line since we just did the <laughs> two straightaways and two turns. Oh, I didn't catch him. Okay, the standings on this course. Oh, the Veyron took it. Interesting. Now I'm wondering what that car maxes out at. But I'll go ahead and fix my gear ratios and redo this. Should be able to do it without having to go back to the menu screen. Yep, here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. Transmission, yeah. Here we go. Okay, so it's at 236 default, so make it higher. 298. That's pretty insane, but whatever. I can even go 30 miles per hour. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. It's like, I do not believe that. Oh, apparently you can, because I'm at 250, so... Damn, 260. 
almost 270. Two seventy, two eighty. This is pretty crazy, and I got a trophy. So yeah, <laughs> one hundred and eleven meters a second. Wait, why am I slowing down? If it, the max is two ninety eight, that doesn't make any sense. Like, how can I lose speed? Oh, here we go. Getting green and gaining speed again. Eighty one. Two eighty three. All right, first place, nice. Now it's just a matter of like waiting for the Veyron to uh, catch up and see if I can outlast it. So yeah, it's weird because like, I think before I switched the gear ratio to whatever it was, um, it was like 236, 237, it was topping out at, now it's like 242. So we got like a bit faster, or a bit higher top speed, but... Six, mo six more miles per hour is not really that much faster. So when you're going like 240, I guess it is, so, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say 240 miles per hour is not fast, because it is, so. It did help. Okay, got a two-second lead. Let's hope it stays high and doesn't get cut down by the car behind me that I know is coming. Oh, okay. So you have to have the power to maintain the top speed. And here comes the bigger one. Okay, there's two cars actually coming, so... Oh, the one drafting behind that one. And then it. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, and it pulls ahead. Well, already then. Time to pull him behind it. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. I have to like time this one. So I'm just gonna like wait until uh. <laughs> you have to like wait until the last minute on this one. Cause you're not gonna get a very good uh. Yeah, cause you don't. Have, you can't maintain the speed, so it's just a matter of timing. This is gonna be nerve wracking. Unless we just buy a Veyron, but. Mm. I wouldn't really ever use it outside this race, so... At least I'll get a top three, so at least there's that. This is pretty crazy. Alright, so I just gotta, like, time it to where... Crap. <laughs> that was close. That would've been a major, uh... Cataclysmic event if I spun out and just flipped the card 20 times or something. It looks like they're not passing me on the um, turn here. But I'm probably not going to keep my lead for much longer when the straightaway comes back, so... That's a problem. Alright, I got it. Alrighty, well, that's it for the stream, showed off the uh, Red Bull challenges, the uh, available seasonal events, and I got this new car that I've been saving up for, so yay, and I finished off this uh, Like the Wind series, let me see the replay. Lock anything, please? Yeah. Oh. Nope. All 
All right, let's look at my stats, and then I'm I'm done. Seventy-seven percent. Almost five hundred stars. Just need two more. And yeah, top speed two eighty-three. Pretty crazy. Um, so that's it for the stream. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back later on with some Walking Dead, and whenever I finish that, or I'll be like alternating between Walking Dead and this game, because I'm wanting to get my uh, Season 1 done on Walking Dead, and then this get, and I'll put this up as I play through it. Like, every time I play this game, I stream it, so as I play through it, I'll stream it. But yeah, I was talking about um, the Red Bull cart is also available to drive. Well, I guess I'll do that real quick. I'll just drive it real quick. It's like the last one in this Goodwood uh, Festival. You can actually drive it, so it's pretty crazy. Like it's really fast. So, oh wait, I wanted to see if I could use the Red Bull card as guide in any events. I need to do that too. Ah, okay. Yeah, I haven't modded any of the cars, so I was just buying them or buying them and racing them or unlocking them and racing them and not even messing with any of the mods. But this is a pretty pretty crazy fast car, so. I just want to share it real quick. It's really loud too. <laughs> uh, I'll try one more time and then I'll go see what I can do with the other Red Bull car. This one's this one's like so fast I was scared to even like buy it. It's like. I can't even drive it at like a decent level. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible, but whatever. It took me forever to get the whatever metal I got, so. Oh. Glad I didn't have to do that again. Okay, let's see. I also need to put my car back on the default settings before I bounce out. To... I don't remember. Crap. To... 236... 236... 236. Whatever. I'll look it up when I... have the stream. And then, um, my bull car. So, can I do that one in this one? Nope. 750 or less. Oh, I just need to change the tires. Cool. Hold on. Hold that one. Seven. Where's that one car? Whatever. Um. Oh, 880. Jeez. Okay. This one's 728. I might actually be able to do... Hmm. Okay, racing. I just gotta change the tires. I should be able to... Hmm. Oh, eight horsepower is low. Ah, uh, good, good call, good call. <laughs> Thanks. Put the tires back to what they were. All right, car selection. Okay, so I'll come back on my next stream and I'll do this with the. Uh, Mercedes. So I'd, I'd done it with the um, 
I think it was like the R8 Audi for like the 15th anniversary car, but it just couldn't. I got 10th, so yeah. I got second on Laguna Soga just because that's not a crazy course to do, but man. Okay. That's it for the stream. Go ahead and save it. And that's it for today. Until I come back whenever with more uh, Gran Turismo, Walking Dead, or whatever I'm playing. Thanks for watching.